That's right, Arthur Blues, let's get this show on the road. Dyer's got dinner plans. Yeah, eventually. Um, no big hurry or anything like that. D -d 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 dinner plans. Let's see who makes it to landfall first. Looks like it's going to be Ooh. Dwarven Ninjas again. Dwarves yeah, they're, again. They're quick. Just by a nose. Are they going to get the first arrow off? Yep, that's what they did. Yep, Pokemon 64 getting the first shot off in this rematch. Uh, restarted match. I successfully see, or I do see the blocks dropping successfully. That's good to see. And the tunnel under is gone, and they are already rushing forward. Looks like Mine Inc. makes it to the fence first, but he might try to do a loop around. That's what he's he doing. He did. Windwalkers looped around the back and is trying to get prepared for arrow fire. Ah, he put his back to them. Guy has moved forward from Dwarven. They're both just dealing with the Ice Mountain. Once again, Plo over here uh, seems to be the one that is really pushing forward first. I uh, know he got shot, I believe, last time. But uh, right now, there's not as much resistance as there was. But we still see one of the Mine Ink guys over there. Interesting, though. At this point, last match, we had three Mine Inks already traversing this ice maze. And we've only got one here so far. Looks like April is on her way. Yeah, I'm seeing the other one with the Adventure Time scan over there, too. They are both uh, probably going to focus fire on Pokemon 64, who is on the Dwarven Ninja side. Yeah, um, April Aerofire is definitely there. a sniper for them. When I played this map, I honestly felt like I won the game just getting through this, uh, this ice maze. It was something. It's pretty close, but okay. Quick math, quick math. Windwalker has not tried for the wool. He is just traversing to get beyond the ice maze itself. And it looks like Mine Inc. is already into the forest. Yeah, I'm seeing Plo over here already in the forest, too. He's taking on one zombie, but besides that, he's not laying down any torches. I don't know if that's a good idea. I... I doubt it's a good idea not to do that. Oh, I said my name. Dwarven is already in the forest. We do not have anyone in the forest yet here. Looks like Plo is kind of playing the role of scout for the Dwarven Ninjas, uh, moving on ahead while the other team, uh, all, all the other members of his team, kind of try to slow down the others. That is exactly what Windwalker is doing. He's in the forest. Ooh, we do have creepers. Retreat. That looks like he's tucking into the ladder. Yep. He may be going for the TNT trap. Disarming. Plo over here working his way up through the tree ladder maze. Already up to the top floor with the cobweb. Now from what I remember, you have to go in through the top, like you go on the outside, then you go up, and then you work your way all the way back down, I thought. Oh, we have cannon fire. Ooh. Uh, John, actually, it's uh, enter through the bottom, climb to the top, and then there's a hole in the center of it, up at the top. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. He's there, taking up an archer can. position, though. Let's see. So Mine Inc. did get a good hit. Initial level iron and cannon is disabled. Ooh, very good hit. Wiped it all out. Yep, looks like he's reloading to try to take out the next layer. Oh, there is some air fire. fire. Nice. It's NSS trying to do, uh, take control of that situation over there for the Dwarven Ninjas.
Yeah, he's hunkered down here. It is prime, but he can't get his head up to even shoot. We got two members of Dwarven Ninjas up here uh, facing off against, uh, I believe it was a Wind Waker. Yep, he's over there by himself right now. Yeah, April and uh, Killer are coming in to give uh, fire to help cover Windwalker, who is down below at the cannon. I believe one of the Dwarven Ninjas was just killed, though. Uh, Ooh, NSS Trunks taken out. Windwalker hit the same spot, so no additional damage done yet. And remember, if you are uh, in here floating around, keep in mind these spawners and try to keep it as much distance as you can. That's reasonable. It's kind of the problem sometimes with those spawners. I wish there was a mod that would uh, you know, make people in creative mode not set off spawners. Someone get on that. Chop, chop. Yes. Okay, we have all of Mine Inc. into the forest or down below. We've got Plo over here trying oh. to work his way down through the tree. He hasn't quite made it uh, really into it yet. He's still just kind of prepping, I think. But it and looks like the rest of Dwarven Ninjas have tried to secure some of the iron. April has taken creeper damage, unfortunately, and looks like we're making some modifications to the... Nope, nope. Walker's bailed on the cannon and is heading out. A uh, fellow, though, went down to grab the iron, it looks like, at least on mining side. Yep, a bit of a handoff. Ooh, well, I almost fell to, down. I went inside to check on Blow for a second there, but it looks like he was killed, and I got caught in some cobweb trying to get out of there. Almost out. There it goes. All right. Killer is still taking shots, moving forward, taking shots. Yeah, Mining is doing killer. a good job lighting up. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It looks like they're taking the time to work on that force a little bit and secure it. April should be heading back from her run from respawn surprised the mine ink guys have not opened fired yet on nss trunks uh he was kind of wide out there in the open neither one of them noticed it walker's taking damage meanwhile Yeah, it's not looking like anything's going on in the nether-styled uh, portion of this map yet. I'm uh, going to go ahead and head back to the forest. It seems like that's where a lot of the action is going on and the areas before that. But it does yep. look like Mine Inc. starting to push forward. They might be going for a run um, on the nether, or maybe, maybe just a lighting run. I'm not quite sure yet. April has finally made it to the forest from the death, and is catching up to her team. For some reason, Wind Waker is... Started taking damage for some odd reason, but then he, he kind of looked around. Wasn't anything causing it, though. Could have been know. a skelly. Uh, invisible skelly, maybe. I don't know. That was odd. Hopefully he doesn't think it was one of us. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good way to stir up some drama. Dire. I know you're liking the dwarf name, but still. <laughs> don't be partial. I actually, uh, you know, Wrath and Havoc brought up a good thing in your chat. Uh, I did think it might have been, it might have been starting, but I don't know. I didn't see them eating anything after that. Yeah, I was just gonna say I didn't see any food, and it didn't seem to last for long. Yeah. I'm trying to see if anyone has bothered to get the fir uh, first wool or not underneath the ice, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible somebody slipped in on Mine Inc. later on, but they skipped it completely so far. 
And the areas with the diamond and or diamond and iron and all that jazz is just kind of abandoned right now. I don't know what the teams are doing. Well, we did see Killer die from an Enderman. And uh, Ras suggests it could just be low self-esteem. He's having a bad day. <laughs> Where's Dwarven right now, anyway? I'm not sure. I'm trying to find... They've all disappeared on me. I see April running in the forest, but I've lost the others, too. Maybe they've pushed on towards the end. Let's see. I've um, got a message. The field rocker has set a bed in the forest. That's interesting. Yes, Looks he like, has. Um, Mine Inc. did take the time to come down to the end uh, house here. That's nice. Well, at least they won't, whoever was able to save in that bed won't have to run all the way back. It is at the forest. There we go. It's uh, Wind Waker. He went up to the very last spot with the sniper tower and uh, went up to the very top there. I'm going to see what kind of loot he got out of there. I know it's something good. I have looked at that before. Yeah, there are a lot of supplies back here. Of course, you do have to get, you know, some walls on the house because it's wide open. Yeah, just like a, an unenchanted bow, but some milk and some arrows and some golden apples. That's not too bad. Maybe they've gone really deep in the uh, nether area. I'm going down there and take a look. Well, Windwalker is definitely making it nice and cozy here. But right now, him and he and April are really all I can see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pop into the uh, Dwarven Ninjas channel and see what's going on over there. Yeah, no problem. I'll place it over All here. Alright, Skelly, I'm gonna try and push him off the edge. I'm down here, but there's nothing down here. Crap, really wish really I didn't go down, here, down here, now. here now. What? Damn it, we got some Because there's no safe way up. Where'd you go? Down to the mine. Oh. Or sorry, not the mine, I'm to get your stuff. I picked it up, I touched it, if you want to try and go down there, I don't know. Oh yeah, we definitely did. I did respond at that. Where is the bed? It's at the it's beginning at the of the forest. Be back. Back. Okay. And I'm in the nether area right now. I went ahead and just skipped the forest. Okay. Alright, I need to let some health regen here. I mean, got two health bars missing God, damn. and a hell of a lot more as far as health goes. Oh, wow. Have we Have seen we any seen more uh, bows and arrows anywhere? Nope. That's the creeper. And we still have this ice wolf. Crap, I can't see the bed. So oh, so so yeah, those, the bed is just messing us up. That and not having sufficient weaponry. Weaponry. I'm really trying to... Yeah, this, this is not gonna work. No. We need stuff. Okay, who put the sapling, saplings around the bed? Uh, I don't know. I just fell off again, like the mobs is just ridiculous. Well, okay. I'm gonna make some wooden tools then. Has anyone, has anyone, did anyone, did anyone get, get stone? stone? No. I don't think anyone has stone yet. Yeah. What happened to that? Oh, yeah. We really, really should have.
Here it is. I made the scan wrong. Hubs. Okay, I'm kind of safe. Grab my stuff. Yeah, I'm like fighting for my. So looking at him doing that right now, he's uh, been missing quite a bit of shots. Yeah, we're going a bit low. Although uh, they did have an issue with one of their beds where they set it, it popped him when he respawned on top of the world. That's weird. So they are looking at you know kind of warning people don't sleep in that one, etc. And yeah, basically all of them are going back to try to work on. Uh, Either getting the other wool or getting uh, some supplies. PVE seems to be the problem. There we go. That's a proper cannon right there. Boom! There you go. Nice! That will hurt. That is going to hurt them because this is a critical house back here. They, they also just lost six beds. Exactly. Looks like we're farming up some food by April back here. Mine Inc. also ran into some trouble. Even though they had lit as they ran by, there was a lot of mobs to fight through. Yeah, and it was even worse on the other side. Uh, I went and checked out the other stream, uh, like we were talking about, and they sounded a little bit disjointed over on the Dwarven Ninja side. Like, they were kind of trying to recover a bit. Uh, some previously lost resources, but they were having trouble doing that. Mining, on the other hand, was very organized, very much uh, coordinated. Where are we? Where are we going? You don't need me. I'm going here. That type of thing. That'll come with being breakfast, I'm sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, takes lots of practice to make that work. But it looks like they might be back on the right track now, finally. I'm seeing a couple of teammates uh, group up a little bit, which is good to see when you're trying to get re, uh, you know, reset up. Uh, it looks like April has been left at the forward house just to try to guard. There is a lot, a lot of stuff over the Dwarven Ninja side, uh, down in the initial iron and diamond area. Uh, someone went down there with a full set of, uh, I believe, looks like two sets of leather, and I've seen a bunch of torches and all kinds of stuff. Lots of stuff lost. Uh, and there's so many zombies there, they're not going to get out of there. Windwalker is breaking glass, making it push down. In the uh, netherrack area. I'm going to keep it over here. Died immediately. And so far he's running this with no arrow fire, no anything. He's just hauling it. So he is on his way to a wool. And is there armorless. Now, I'm not sure. Perhaps he stopped to talk to people, etc. It took him a bit longer to get down that glass. Yeah, I think they were trying to uh, trying to get some game plans going there. Because he's getting ready to do the part you know, where you either are... The only safe spots are the obsidian. I believe maybe there are maybe skeletons on the other side of that lava that will shoot randomly through there. You don't know where they're going to shoot from. But if you're standing on the obsidian, I think you're okay. Yeah, he's tucked in to go. I'm going to take a swing up here real quick. Looks like April is still at home. Up, oh, she's heading out from the last, uh, last house. There's nobody over here from Dwarven, so she's moving on. Yeah, I'm taking a look over at uh, Dwarven side to see. Yeah, I think we're probably looking at the same spot almost. 
Um, let's see who I'm looking at here. Now I'm looking at Fella. Um, I was trying to take a look to see if they ever got a chance to grab any more iron or anything from their initial spot. Really, if they would group up on Dwarven Ninja side, they would be able to get plenty of that stuff back. Uh, but the problem is right now they're trying to one-man it, and that's just not possible now with so many mobs. I think this map uh, maybe relies a little bit more on team effort than other maps, uh, where you can't send one person after a wool necessarily. April has gone back, and she is working on reinforcing their lighting. Oh, Wind Waker made oh, a run right now. He's on the move. He was tucked oh, in for a oh. while. Ouch, ouch. Oh, he's in the lava. Yeah. He tried yep. to overcorrect, is what he did. He overcorrected. He didn't quite make it that easy to get back, but with the glass there to break through, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Yeah, he's got two more shots before he's really in straights. And even at that, with that spacing, you can hop back and forth, dropping blocks, or even drop uh, blocks as you go if you want to risk it. Sand would be a good use there, I think. Awesome use. Hey, TGR Dude 13 says we sound like news commentators, but he means that in a good way. Well, I'm fine with that. You used to be a news commentator. Oh, April is out. By the way, Neither I think that's supposed to be Tiger Dude. Well. That could be Tiger Dude. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Taking a look at the uh, the treehouse wool, um, looks like they've tried to do something over here on Dwarven Ninja side, but it doesn't look like it's done much good. They haven't laid up anything. Just more damage. That oh, is a really, really difficult dungeon to run. Windwalker is not going back down. Nope. I don't know what the... I feel like both teams are kind of suffering from uh, not focusing in on any one thing. I think right now both teams are disjointed enough where if one team were to just seize the opportunity and push on one specific wool, they wouldn't have a problem. I wonder if he's going back for armor or something, but he's he's all the way back to the beginning of the forest now. He is back down to the iron cannon area. And so is Pokemon. Where was that fire from? Uh, which fire? That could have been a creeper. It sounded like there was a boom. Oh, oh, okay. I think it meant like there was actually a fire. Somewhere. No, cannon fire. I was like, it wasn't me. Not this time. That was a creeper blowing up near fell. Well, Pokemon is getting some supplies, and Windwalker is... Not arming the cannon, but he's just sort of poised behind it. Got to go ahead and leave him to that. Yeah, I'm going to take a look inside the chest behind him. I'll keep an eye out. out blah. I can't keep an eye out over here if you'd like to go check somewhere else, maybe. Okay, now he is ironing, or iron armoring. Blah, armoring up. <laughs> so it was, a, uh, it was an armor run. Yeah, that's what it looks like. He's got iron armor on now. Full set. I still can't get a fourth member of Mine Inc. I'm curious if he is down there look, working on that uh, water. All right, April's Looks lighting. Like finally, um, Pokemon 64. Oh, he's getting shot at though. Yeah, Killer was like he was poised up above to shoot. Yep, that's what he's doing. Uh, Sharp shooting. Uh, Pokemon 64. So he's trying to make a. If they're able to grab that, that'll give them a, an edge. Uh, to get going again. Looks like April has finished her lighting job and is running back with bow in hand.
Yeah, Pokemon making a hasty retreat. He uh, hit one block too many and was flooded by zombies. I see that. But he didn't die. And that means he'll be back to take uh, more, put more pressure on that area as soon as he can, basically. They definitely need to start throwing down more torches, though. Once again, I'm not seeing many torches being thrown down by the Dwarven. Oh, yeah, Pokemon 64 taken out. Windwalker is fully armored. He's saying lag, but he's just sort of tucked in a corner, so that could be why he's having such long pauses. He's just trying to catch up. April's Luckily, taking Pokemon. aim. Oh, yep, yeah, I see her. There are a lot of entities down here. That is what Windwalker is suspecting. It is all of the uh, enemies down below. And he is pillaring up. So we should see another run on the lava walk soon. Well, Desi, oh, I that as really, again. Uh, there was something really bad happening in the uh, blue wall in that uh, tree. Taking a look. I don't know if Plo notices, but he's TNTing through the middle of the tree, and he has all of the wall chests exposed, all the walls on the ground. One more TNT, and oh. won't have any left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's a little bit left. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, that's it. That's technically a game over then. It is. They can if all of the wool is confirmed gone, they cannot win. It's over. It is all gone. Yep, there it is. Oh. That sucks. That is exactly how we randoms won the game against the All-Stars. The blue wool got completely destroyed with TNT. That's interesting. It makes you have to work for that, because um, you can only do that so much before you can't use that TNT anymore. Yep, trying to trying to tell them uh, that it wasn't, it didn't despawn or anything. It was destroyed. Yeah, it was blown two bits, and that means they oh, never even sucks. got over here to try to take on that um, that last wool at all. The first wool was untouched on both teams as well. That was my next question. Did anybody go back and do it? Anyone go back and do what? Sorry, I was answering a question in the stream. That first wall, but we were just told it was untouched by both teams. Yeah. So did any teams get any wool? I no. Don't, I don't think so. No. I think they they all had it within their grasp to do it. Uh, grasp to do it, uh, but they just uh, just didn't it happen. It didn't happen. Mine and it took that close on the third wall. That's it. Yeah, but it, when they went back for the iron, I mean, it took a long time to get suited up. I'm actually surprised that they did not uh, have iron already brought up. They had so many people crawling around down there. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, or at least from my you know, outside observation, that both teams might need to work on uh, a chain of you know, who needs to do what, maybe. Uh, you can't have everyone being archers. You can't have everyone being wool runners. You can't have everyone being uh, gathering their own supplies. Sometimes you just have to say, uh, we need you to make armor. We need you to grab this, you know. Yep, you see where it's needed and go. Like, he was already all the way down there. If somebody could have uh, grabbed some armor and ran it to him, anything, to uh, let him keep working on that last wool, that would have been progress. Yep, it's definitely a hard dungeon. It makes you work for the wool. Um, you can use the TNT for a little bit, but it uh, looks like you can't use it very long. Thank you, Tiger Dude. And it sounds like uh, the Mine Inc. fellows cannot continue. Uh, I think that'll probably be it. I've got plenty of stuff to do today, too. I'm going to hopefully stream some more tonight, though. 
So if you want to catch more of uh, you know my channel, please uh, follow, or check out my YouTube channel, or check out actually uh, Honey Play on Twitch TV. And is it Honey Play or Honey Plays on YouTube? It's Honey Play on YouTube as well. Okay, cool.